there guys, this is Malorian, and this is a, a video kind of a company, a more almost personal review, because there's a, a lot of companies out there, right? Uh, Blue Table Gaming has been in the news, well, they are a little gamer news for a while, but there's lots of different painting and conversion uh, companies out there, and for the most part, you know, I, I paint my own stuff, but there's been one in particular that I have been chatting with. And what it is, is Rothen Studio. Now, I dealt with them years ago where I was in fantasy and really he wanted the, the owner of the company to support the community. He looked at the people that were making uh, all the videos out there and said, hey guys, you know, you guys do great work. I want to do something for you. So tell me a model you want and I'll just make it for you. Now for myself, I didn't really have anything to tell him. For my orcs and goblins, I had everything I needed, uh, and I didn't really want him to make something uh, abstract I would never use. So I said, you know, wait till the next edition of either the rules or the army, and we'll deal with it then. Meanwhile, he was doing stuff for the other guys. So say, like, for once bitten, he made him this amazing, amazing model uh, for Tomb Kings. And it, it's just crazy. I can't believe it. You know, the, the conversion put towards it, the painting that went into it. it. It was, in fact, so good that when I was talking to Once Bitten about it, he was saying, oh, you know, like, it was almost like keeping him back from uh, really getting into Tomb Kings because we all know, I mean, Once Bitten is a, an amazing painter, but even looking at this, he's like, I, wow, uh, this is going to be a, a challenge now to make an army that is up to the standard of this model. So if nothing else, and hopefully I'll have pictures of this at the end here, you'll, you'll really see what this is all about. And so uh, eventually, I unfortunately left Fantasy, and so he was kind of wondering like, oh, Malorian, what do you really want to do then now that you're not really doing that? What in War Machine will really fit in with what he does? And unfortunately, this will be now kind of taking him out of his element because in War Machine, you are kind of a little bit more stuck to what the model is. You, there's not really a lot that you can just convert. Uh, a lot of the models already exist, and there's policies in the actual tournament documents saying that you have to use at least 50% of the real model and blah, blah, blah. And plus, again, whereas once Bitten can get up that standard pretty close to painting, I am nowhere close. I am nowhere close. If he makes something amazing, it'll just make a lot of my other stuff my army look ridiculously like trash like so uh, what we worked on he said well hey how about we make some objectives or, or something like that for you and this is what he made for me here now I'm again gonna have some pictures at the end to get you a better idea of what this is but what you got going on here is this crazy awesome uh, rocky type structure where at the top they have this crystal and if nothing else i would look at this and go like wow this is this is clearly something that's amazing and very cool but then he went a little bit further and made it so that underneath you could take this little tab out oh and there's a light that goes inside and you know you just go and i have it set up so i can just oh there's actually a little spacer inside so then take it apart Let's do it. You know, we have the video here. This is what we're talking about. Clearly, I'm not a very prepared guy, but we'll just take out that little spacer that was stopping it from running. And all of a sudden, you got a light here. And the light just fits right inside. And, oh, you have this thing that glows. I couldn't believe it. So now, of course, the little magnet thing just goes back on. And this is sitting there on the board and is, like I said, in a crazy, amazing objective. I mean, when I make objectives, it's like, look at me, I'm a little box of TNT and kind of boring and plain. And then you have this glowing thing here. So I really want to do a shout out to him. Uh, you guys should really check out his channel. Well, not channel so much, his website. I'm going to have all the information down below. Um, and then, of course, hopefully after this, some better examples as well of what's, what's more of his... Uh, uh, strength which is really making these models and painting them but again i am so super crazy happy uh, about these i have two of them here that he made for me which is kind of what you more want to have because you have sometimes up to two objectives and uh as well he like provided me 
a bajillion of these lights and batteries. So just in case, you know, these die and I can't find the right batteries here, he just like, here's a bajillion light. So uh, first of all, you know, really great service, really great work. Um, if you ever have like a model that there's a model that doesn't exist for it and you're like, man, what am I going to do for a conversion? You might want to think about Rothan because he does some crazy good conversions. And then again, if there's something you want in painting that might not just be a model, as we've seen here, he can paint up that train for you. Uh, he does an amazingly great job. So there you go. Uh, thanks for watching this and uh, go check out his stuff and you'll be seeing this in my about reports when these objectives come up. So catch you then and bye.